Hello friends, in this video we are going to see inductor filter. Let us draw the diagram first. So, I am going to draw full wave rectifier with filter circuit. So, here I have drawn full wave rectifier where this is Vs, AC supply, this is a transformer so that here you will get Vs by 2 and here also it is Vs by 2. It is a center tap full wave rectifier diode D1, D2 and here we are having an inductor filter L load resistance connected in series with it so that output voltage is VO. Now what happens when inductor filter is connected? Before that let us draw the waveform of a full wave rectifier without inductor filter. So, the waveform will be like this. So, current through this will call as I L. It is a full wave rectifier, hence I am getting current pulses for both positive as well as negative half cycles. This is a peak current I M and I am getting a average current that is 2 I M by pi. So, this current is 2 I m upon pi in the case of full wave rectifier. So, this is a output current I am getting in a case of full wave rectifier without filter. Now, what will happen if filter is connected? We know the fact that inductor does not allow instantaneous change in the current and because of that it allows DC but it blocks AC. What does that mean? Actual current waveform whenever you connect a filter circuit in series with a rectifier will be like this. So, this is the nature of output current you are getting if you connect a filter. If you see properly still it is not a pure DC, but compared to the without filter waveform the waveform is much better in the sense that here AC component is very less and that component is this much only. So, this much component is only present whereas initially it was a very high AC component present. So, if you connect the inductor in series with a load for filtering purpose the current waveform you will get like this very close to perfect DC. Thank you.